up you guys of course welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly the Scarander and major major props to Sinon Alish you know the guy the man the dragon beast of his own my dragon brother is helping me out today with uh, a little bit of layout and actually giving me great 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 quality from to this video of course and um yeah you know i'm so thankful it looks beautiful and you know he he actually made his own touches on the videos and it, it looks real nice it really does so um you know i can't thank him really it seems like he just wanted to help out and he wanted to showcase for me how it can look like you know like getting a capture card and you know the importance of uh, making the video even even more vast and I really feel that that was what I was going for and I feel that I need to step up my game and it looks just so beautiful I can't stress that enough but anyway um, looking at the team here I'm going against a guy named Surrender you guys know him as Tom very very tough battler if not the toughest I know really I have a hard time beating him if ever getting even a chance to do just that he's using Pangoro, Megalupony, Torterra, if you like Munchlack, Golduck and Rodem. I myself using Emolga, Kecleon, Mega Pidgeot, Barbarical, uh, Dragology, and Bronzong. And from the get go here, I had a good idea that it's very likely for him to either start off with Pangoro or starting off with Rodem. So I felt that my Emolga is my safest bet. And just through overall, it really just trying to cope with that overall situation. So, yeah, let's actually get into it. So I do get the matchup that I wanted, that was this Rotom, and uh, really, there is no way for him to actually outspeed me but if it isn't Scarf, that is. So I'm just gonna go for a knockoff, be able to take it out. Uh, he shows me, of course, that it is Scarf going for Shadow Ball, and, it, you know, it's close to taking me out, it really is, but, you know, the payoff here is so much greater, because any Rotom out of the way means a lot for my team, because I have a few Pokemon that can't really cope with it, and having that out of the way, it's gonna mean a lot. And here we have the loop honey. And really, the typing here, normal and fighting, is very, very tough. Uh, it's hit neutral on everything, and it's just a bad time overall. So, Bronzong is my only response to this Pokemon, and I'm very lucky it has jump kick and not high jump kick. High jump kick do roughly 50% on a Bronzong. And the really, Bronzong can only do one thing against this thing, and that is toxic. So, that was definitely what I was going for. He's gonna bring in the Torterra here, and at this point I was like, alright, uh, he is probably expecting me to be levitated, so I'm just gonna go for Stealth Rocks, there is no reason for me not to, and I really need to whittle everything on his team down, and uh, I think my biggest problem could be the Munchlax, if it's a curse set, because I have no means of dealing with that. So he's gonna set up a lead seed, and I think that's a fair play, like I said there, he is very unaware of uh, my me being heatproof of course so I need to switch out though because I really can't cope with Elite Seed and I really need to have my Reminol or my Bronzong as a good a position as ever because Lupani is tearing my team apart if I let it do just that. Kecleon could have been a good response for it but really once it may evolve it had no chance of dealing with it properly and uh, I won't even risk that. So anyway I go into Honey Pie here and just to basically just be be as offensive as possible because I obviously can't do anything and I was expecting him to switch out there so I'm going for a U-turn a choice banded mind you <laughs> U-turn and yeah, that's pathetic that is really a expensive poke so anyway I decided to go to my Pidgeot here hoping to may evolve and to just get out of there um, no he gets for lead seed and I really felt that he's gonna switch out anyway so I might as well do just that too because he, I really know that he has no intentions of sacking his Torterra just yet because look at my team 
that Torterra might just work really really good against me. So I'm gonna decide to switch out and go into my honey pie yet again. And um, he, like I said, there's go and switch out to, and I did expect that. I did just didn't know what <laughs> to what really. So here comes the Darisel, and yeah, yeah, this is not gonna work for me now, is it? <laughs> so anyway, I go for that U-turn, and. Um, the reason to do that is to bring my Barbarical, because I know this thing is gonna set up curses and I know that a superpower might just cut it with Top Claw. He do score the Paralyzation here and that is extremely unfortunate. But you gotta cope with that, you really do. So he goes for the curse and I do break through the, <laughs> the Paralyzation which is so important and this superpower with Top Claw boost with 33% is enough to break through. And that was super important because I couldn't cope with this Pokemon at all. Because I have a lot of special attacks on my team and Eviolite might just cut it. It just do. So here's the Hay Bay, the Pangoro. So I can't really sack my Barbarical from this range. So I'm just gonna bring Emolga here. And Honey Pie, you did great. I am super proud to have you around. You did some very fair damage to a lot of folks. So yeah. I don't like sacking him like this, I really do, and that was definitely an unnecessary crit for the poor, poor yellow puff. Oh, damn it. I mean, Honey Pie, the Amolga is great, but I at least get a free switch into my Jeros. At least, now, finally, we're getting that Mega Evolutions to go in. He got his loop in the back, you know, from the first turn. I have been waiting for 12 turns to make this happen. The Jesus Bird is here. <laughs> And the power, the power of this Pokemon is tremendous. And like I said, my set is more intuitive to be able to deal with other Pokemon, so it's not that easy to kill. I should be keeping in mind of maybe giving this thing a roost, so I'll see if I get there. But anyway, going into the Golduck here, I knew that I don't really want to take an Ice Beam because I still need to deal with the Lupani. And he is actually going to set up a Rain Dance here. I did not expect that, so I was thinking at least that even though I don't have any rock moves, or rather I don't have any rock moves that are affected by Top Claw, I can at least try to attack it. Um, so I go for a super power yet again, and he scores a crit, which definitely did not matter consider how much damage it really did. And this super power is, you know, it's close, but just it wasn't meant to be, it really felt like that. But the Skull is coming through yet again, and uh, the life orb damage will actually kill the Golduck. So that is really cool and of course very lucky for me even though I think I could cope with it. So I am extremely sure that um, he's gonna send off the loop honey. So I'm just gonna bring in Dragaldi which is fully defensive. Just freaking do it Dragaldi. Specs adaptability Draco Meteor now. But he's gonna be able to outspeed and um, yeah I took that. I took a quick Ice punch from the, from the loop honey, and that is so good. And look at this! Oh, it's enough to kill that pesky poke, you know. And that poke is extremely defensive, so seeing Dragaldia actually coping with that is just so amazing and so important. Because, like I said, no Pokemon on my team can outspeed it, it has no way of coping with that. So, Dragaldia, my Sakura, you did great. Oh my god, that Drake Meteor just destroyed it. So anyway, of course, he only got the Pangora left here, and I got a very fair switch into my Jerost. And I'm just gonna go for Hurricane, hoping for best. And I do score, I don't kill it, because it is Assault Vested. But, at least I get the Confusion. But, sadly, it doesn't break through. So I'm gonna go for Drain Punch, and you know, I take that. And I felt that, alright, <laughs> it is how I want it, then I'm gonna finish you the right way, and the true way of the Mega Pose, the Hyper Beam, the strongest, or at least the closest strongest Hyper Beam in the game, and there is no way of surviving that, so Mega Pidgeot, oh my god, what a great poke, and oh my god, that poor Pangora, you just decimated that pulverization, if everybody has seen Chrono Trigger being hit by Lava's laser, that was the effect was going there. So, thank you so much, Surrender. You know, you're a great player, and it was definitely a close one. I mean, my bronze, neither my bronze song nor my Kecklin are going to deal with the Mega Loop Honey. So, the Drake Meteor, you know, fair enough there. Oof, really, it really mattered, and it really 
it's paid off the way here for my Mega Pijos to actually be properly working. So major props to you and thank you so much for this battle. And also to you guys, you know, thank you as always for watching and don't forget to leave a like of course and just tell me guys what you thought about this quality, if this is something that I should really focus on. Because I can do this, I can definitely take the time to learn how to do this. And uh, I also want to thank Xenon for taking the time to make a video like this. Uh, I've not seen anything like it, I've not held this type of power and ingraciously power that is this content and you know the graphics of it. Which is incredible and I like it so much and it really it looks professional. So it's something I definitely, definitely can keep in mind of trying to uh, recreate or at least try to use more often. So, and of course with the capture card coming, that it's gonna be a huge difference, it really is. So, yeah, with that in mind guys, you know, thank you as always for watching, like I said there. And, um, yeah. Hmm. I always feel so weird trying to talk afterwards, this is <laughs> like I have nothing planned. Uh, but really it was a very, very fun thing. You know, this battle was very, very good for me too, because... I did get a chance to go against a Lupani, and it's it's very tough to deal with. Um, the only Pokemon that can that I can think of uh, that could deal with it properly is the uh, Configurus, you know, giving away the Mummy uh, ability, and you know, Pokemon with, that use Entertainment probably could do the cut too. But that's about it. And obviously, Return hits a lot harder than Ice Punch do. In even though with super effective, so worth keeping in mind. Go always for Return. Or retaliate. Go with the retaliate, guys. So, yeah, with that in mind, guys, I have no question of the day for you guys. I just gotta thank Xenon yet again. This content was awesome. I'm so glad I got to use this. So, for everybody else, remember the sky is the limit. So, have a good day and take care. Alright? Bye.